Hey, what's going on guys? LogDadZip here. I'm so excited you don't understand. A surprise update just came out. Completely out of nowhere, I don't get it. Minecraft 1.9.2 just came out like a couple days ago, and now we've got Minecraft 1.RV pre-release one vanilla snapshot 1.10 already here baby and i gotta show you these crazy items that they finally added i've been waiting for it this is officially known as the trendy update there's a news post on the official minecraft website in the description of this video that you can check out for yourself this is a hype this is what i've been waiting for this is all about what 2016 is gonna have to offer check out these three new items how signs look oh it's great it looks like technology man and of course a special charge your blog. I'm gonna show you all the different items right now, and we're gonna show you what each one does. But before I go any further, I really just want look at, look at, you ready for this? Okay. Reality vision. Yes. Yes. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Look, you see that little green beam right in the center there? That marks where you are in your world. You see, right now I'm in a little lake. If I were to look straight down and then take these things off, you can see. I'm a little, little, well, it's not really late, but whatever. And it makes a great sound effect. It's beautiful. You can see the world all around you as you fly. You're, I'm literally just looking at my camera. Now, the really cool thing about this is it actually works in other dimensions as well. But before I show you any of that, we're going to go ahead and take them off for the time being because there's other items that need to be shown, baby. We'll put you right back here for the time being so we can look at the smarter watch. Wearing this in your opposite hand will tell you the time at all times. It is a healthy 7.05 in the morning, 7.06 in the morning, 7.07 in the morning. That's literally supposed to be minutes going by in your Minecraft world. As you can see, things work a little bit faster in Minecraft. And not only does a smarter watch tell you the time, but it keeps track of some really fun stats. Jumping, now at 10. We've now sprinted for 20 blocks. Ooh, exciting. Not only will it tell you different achievements in terms of how much you've sprinted, how much you've jumped, how much you've just walked around, but it'll tell you how many blocks, it'll tell you certain mob information, it'll even show you how many hearts of damage that you've taken when you are messing around with mob. In fact, I'm gonna show you right now. Actually, on the real, this is gonna be the way to do it. Look at this. Oh, the Elytra coming in, baby! Look at this! It keeps track of hundreds, tens, and eventually, you know, thousands as you continue. And not only that, but you ready for this? Check this out, check this out, check this out. Please kill me. Kill me. Ah, uh, you see? It'll show you how many damage hearts you took. Boom! And it'll even tell you when you die. <laughs> Come on now. Hey! Took 33 half hearts of damage there. That's 16 full hearts. That would have killed us no matter what. Blown up by the creeper. Good thing we kept our goodies, though. So the smartwatch just gives you statistics and tells you what time it is. Amazing. I love it. But there's one more item that I need to show you before we go any farther. It is the ankle monitor. Now, the ankle monitor is amazing because it will monitor your whereabouts. Wherever you are near spawn, hey, hey creeper friend. Now the cool thing about the goggles as well is that mobs are now friendly. They're too busy looking through their virtual reality to have any time to try and attack you. Mobs will be randomly found throughout your Minecraft world wearing these. Not all mobs will have them, but a healthy amount will, and rest assured, they won't be bothering you one bit if you happen to run into any. Except now you find yourself at night and you're wandering a little bit far from your spawn point, aka where you find yourself typically sleeping. Well, not to worry, if you've got your ankle monitor handy, which we do, it will give us a beautiful warning that we are violating our house arrest. It will also give us a nice slowness effect so that we can safely be reminded that we have ventured too far from home. See, look at this continues to give a slowness effect. I appreciate you looking out for me. It really means a lot, ankle monitor. But you know, I'm trying to explain a little bit more about this. You see, you're not helping me any. I understand that I'm far away. See, look, there's a couple more mobs. They don't want anything to do with this. Monitor, it's fine. They don't want to attack us. Nothing bad's gonna happen, man. Not a big deal. <sighs> but there are other features that the ankle monitor will have as, all right, I get it. I think I've had enough of you, man. Huh? What the? Uh, I, I can't take you off. It literally is not let, letting me take this off. The ankle monitor's stuck on. Are you telling me I gotta deal with this? Ah, uh, fine, fine, fine. We're gonna head back to spawn. 
Totally great update. Love everything about this update. See, we now know how many jumps we have at all times. The best part about the virtual reality goggles, though, I'll tell you, is they change what signs say on them. See, this is how signs look now whenever you make a sign. It's going to have this great digital looking effect with the green text. Put on your reality vision, though, and you get a special message. What does it say? Oh, nothing special, just obey. Obey. If you want to get rid of the line effect that you see on here, you press F4 and the line effect will go away. You don't got to worry about it anymore. Even boom, just like that. You see, it's good. Even you see, you can even do F4 on that, but it doesn't look as nice. But if you do it in this mode, it's gonna be good. Uh oh, I'm in virtual reality. You can't hurt me. Wait a second. Hey, hey, what are you talking about? I don't want to take damage. Ah, oh, I get it. I get it. I'm violating my house arrest. Just take me, spiders. I just want to be done with this. Now, obviously, you're going to need to power your new devices somehow, right? Right? Well, that's okay. That's why we have the USB charger block. What does it do, you say? Well, it provides a redstone output, similar to a block of redstone. In fact, exactly the same as a block of redstone. It literally works the same in every way, except it's got a cool looking texture effect on it. It's even got a little charger port right in the top that you can't put anything in. Looks really nice. Love this update. Everything about this update is totally legit. There's nothing fake about this update whatsoever. But I want to show the difference between the block of redstone. As you can see, we also have the USB charger block right here. And let's go ahead and grab ourselves a repeater. We got some dust. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. As you can see, it's powered up to 15 blocks as you would normally expect a redstone block to be, except it is the USB charger block. See? Same distance powered. Not powered here, right in the middle. You still need 15 no matter what. So that'll get powered, that'll get powered, because this is block number 15. No power there. Except why would you ever want to use a redstone block when you can use a USB charger block? It just made more sense. Obey. I say it's time we took to the nether so we can show you how the ankle works in there as well as the fact that reality vision continues to work whilst in the nether as well as in the air. So here we have found ourselves in the nether. Go ahead and put on our glasses now. And you can see it all rendering. You see, and check out the curfew warning. Ankle monitor's just looking out. You're violating your house arrest. Uh, where are you anyways? Hello? Are you there? Now, the best part about the ankle monitor is it's got a ton of messages trying to keep you safe. I'm going to let you read through all of them while we explore a little bit around here. I'm sure you have important things to do, but you need to go back. Now, some of you may be wondering, hey, Tyler, Tyler, log, Todd, zip. Is this an April Fool's update? <laughs> of course not. It came out on March 31st. There's no way that this is an April Fool's update. We're lonely back home. By we, I mean I. I'm lonely. All right, I understand, Ankle Monitor, you want to be cared for and loved. I'm trying to make a video here. Now, of course it's an April Fool's update, unless it's not. But anyways, I don't know anything about if it's an April Fool's update or not. Okay, enough games, get back right now. I'm not gonna listen to you, Ankle Monitor. Now, this does beg the question though, could we see some of these features applied in future game updates, whether they are April Fool's updates or not? Last warning, last warning, right? And then look how cool this looks. I've got F8 on with my goggles and I've pressed F4 so that the scan lines disappear. This, please, I know it's April Fool's, please do something with this, please. Lastest warning, yo, I think we're getting in trouble here. Now, one thing I did want to say, and I saw this as an excellent comment on Reddit, is that this would be an awesome way to implement maps on tables. Maybe these little areas you can look at all around you. You see how it renders from above? Looks great. Look, look at this. You see, he just wants to be loved, or it just wants to be loved. Uh, I'm in the nether. You should know this by now. If you're monitoring me, you'd know this. I want to take it to the end so you can see exactly how it looks in there as well. So we're going to do set block. Boom, 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 Minecraft, end, portal, boom, we are now in the end, here we go, and you can see it renders as well, oh, monster over there, I did in fact see it, thanks, he's wearing the same goggles as well, so, as you can see, some Frenderman will be wearing goggles, and some will not be wearing goggles, it's important to make the difference in notation that these guys will not attack you, even if you attack them, but, these guys will attack you, 
if they are not wearing goggles. Ah! We must be careful. Now look how this looks around. Uh-oh. Did you give that launcher a whack? I did, you see? What do you mean, enough of this? This curfew thing's getting on my nerves, man. So, maybe we could see this in the future as a way to implement horizontal maps. Obviously, the USB charger block is just a redstone block. The ankle monitor, wait, is it about to kill me? Oh, that is, uh, <laughs> don't, please don't kill me. I actually haven't seen all the messages through. I'm wondering if it's gonna kill me. Now I die. Oh, let me get, boom! It, it didn't kill me. Let's put on our smarter watch. I wanna know what time it is. So, smarter watch, ankle bracelet, reality vision, USB charger block. Happy April Fools, more than likely, guys. Make sure you subscribe so you can see actual game updates, right, as they come out. And uh, with that, I leave you with the remainder of the curfew warning messages. Skip through as they appear. So thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Oh, how does that feel? I know. I'll wipe my memory. That way I can start over. Sad. Bzzz. Oh, wow. It literally, it literally starts over. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll see you later.